NFL scouts and teammates watch on as Temple's Delvin Randall prepares to run the short shuttle at the Owls Pro Day on Monday. For 13 former Temple football players, Monday was one of the most important days of their lives as the program hosted its annual Pro Day at the Star Complex on the university's campus. Each athlete had a chance to showcase their respective skills in position drills as well as other athletic tests in front of 60 scouts from nearly every NFL team during the event in the hopes of finding their way onto a professional team, whether by means of April's NFL draft or free agency. Participants for the event included 12 seniors from the 2018 Temple Owl football team that finished the season 8-5 and went out as the all-time winningest class in school history, as well as one returning single-digit wear from the 2017 team. Here is a full list of those participants, as well as their results from Monday's Pro Day, asterisk returning participant two of the 12 seniors, running back Reichwell Armstead and cornerback Rocky Asin, participated in the NFL's scouting combine, which took place from Feb. 26 through March 4. Each posted pretty impressive numbers that should almost guarantee their selection in the NFL draft, making Pro Day a much more relaxed environment for them. Armstead and Yasin did however participate in their respective position drills, while the latter participated in the shuttle and three-cone drills. Both looked every part of NFL prospects on Monday as the former received some coaching from Philadelphia Eagles running backs coach Duce Staley and was seen having a long talk with a Tennessee Titans scout post-workout. While the latter displayed excellent footwork and ball tracking skills, something that was praised in Indianapolis at the beginning of the month and drew the attention of multiple teams including the New York Giants. Defensive lineman Michael Dogbe, who was snubbed an invite to the Combine, showed why he is also capable of being a NFL player during Pro Day, especially in the weight room. The Morris Plains, NJ Native put up 34 reps on the bench press, which would have been third best at this year's combine behind Clemson's Dexter Lawrence, 36, and Albert Huggins, 35. He also weighed in at 284 pounds, a weight he noted that he wanted to be at in order to impress scouts with his size and athleticism. Michael Dog Bay HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash bbnf 524 bbc Ryan Wallen at Ryan Wallen 247 March 18th 2019 Dog Bay noted that he has several local workout days with NFL teams coming up in individual workouts as well, but would not I specify with whom. Other NFL hopeful in one time, first round draft projection, Delvin Randall, also had a good pro day, despite running just a 4.7140 yard dash. Randall noted after his workout that several scouts clocked him at a 4.55 and they were impressed with his strength, 18 reps on the bench press, and play-making abilities, more so than his speed. Randall also helped himself by posting a 34-inch vertical. Now, whether that will be enough to hear his name called during the draft is a different story, but much like another former Owl who didn't have blazing speed, Tyler Matakovich, Randall has a nose for the football and is a playmaker. He should have no problem finding a home in the league and earning his spot on the NFL roster. These players, as well as the other participants from Temple's Pro Day will learn their fate as the 2019 NFL Draft will take place from April 25-27 to 27 th in Nashville, 10. Though not all will find their way to the NFL, one must remember that other opportunities may present themselves with the newly formed Alliance of American Football, which began play earlier this year and the XFL, which is set to begin play in 2020. Notes, Armstead revealed during his post-workout interview that he has an individual meeting with the Chicago Bears set for Tuesday. Benchel Bryant, Temple's all-time leading receiver, also had a solid day for himself Monday. The 6'3", 209-pounder ran a 4.56 40-yard dash, a good time for a receiver of his size. He also noted that he improved all his numbers from training during Monday's workout and has several local workouts lined up with the Jets, Giants and Eagles. 
Benchal Bryant https colon slash slash t dot co slash zx wb8 llkvg Ryan Wallen at Ryan Wallen 247 March 18, 2019 Defensive back Rodney Williams, who transferred to Temple from Syracuse last spring, ran the fastest 40-yard dash, 4.46, and posted a 41-inch vertical leap on Monday, despite measuring in at just 5 foot 8. His height may prevent NFL teams from taking a shot on him, but those numbers should at least earn him some workouts. And Chris Myrick represented uplifting athletes during his Pro Day Workout, a non-profit organization that helps inspire children living with rare diseases through sport. For each bench press rep Myrick completed, there would be a pledge to help the organization. He reached his goal of 23 reps and helped to raise more than $1,000 for the rare disease community.